Right, I'm going to show you exactly how you can automate internal linking. And before I do so, I'm just going to explain to you what it is. Let's say this is your website right here, and you have all of these different little blog posts, right? Let's say you click one of them, and it pops up right here. This is the blog post. It has an H1 being a header, has a table of contents, has some images, has some YouTube videos, has some content, right? An author bio box on here, right? So a regular quote-unquote uh, piece of, of content, right? Internal linking is essentially where on a piece of content in your article right here, you link out to a different article page, right? So this article links to this one, let's say this one links to this one, then this one links to this one, and this can be time consuming, right? Because you gotta find the exact part, or we call it the anchor text, on a website, that, on, a, on a page that you wanna link to the other page, you gotta see if it makes sense, right? If Because you're not gonna just interlink to a, a another blog post that isn't related to this one. So it, it is time consuming, and if you can find a ways to, uh, to automate it, why not? So, so here's how it looks. Let's take a look here at an example. Let me just minimize my face real quick. So this is an article about the benefits of building a directory site in the creation economy, right? So it's a research for article with images and all that. And right here, you have this internal link, right? Which is um, significant development in the curation economy, right? The rise of directory sites has been a significant development in the creation economy. So this should link, this is an internal link, should link to another blog post that talks about the ideally significant development in the creation economy. So as you can see here, it talks about the rise of directory sites and it, is, it makes sense, right? Because it's talking about the rise here, and then it links out to an article just talking about the rise of the curation economy, right? So pretty straightforward, this is an internal link. There's a bunch of them here, right? Uh, let me see another one. Shaping the future of directories. You click this one, it links out to a different article that talks about the future of the directory site, right? As you can see here. So pretty straightforward and this can be done manually, but if you can automate it, why not? So. Here's how you can do it. It's pretty straightforward. You just go to Journalist Al Cafe, right? Like so, I'll leave a link in the description for this. You log in, you go to your dashboard right here and you go click on integrations and autoblog, right? Pretty straightforward. What you do here is just add your WordPress site in here, right? The one you want to connect. I already have two, so I'm just going to click here on manage. And what this is doing right here is essentially it's publishing articles in English with two, two a day. I can do 20, one, 20, five, 10, every single day with a five hour time gap. So on, on this blog right here, right? All these articles are being posted through this little software right here, two a day, right? Uh, adding Google license free images. I can do stock photos in article images. I can do a bunch of stuff right here, but this is where it comes in. So right, internal linking, right? Just by adding in here your sitemap, which there's a, a tutorial here on how to do it. By adding in your, in your sitemap, all the content that this is automatically generating, in this case, two a day, is going to have internal linking, right? So automatically linked and in a way that makes sense. For example, one of the key aspects of curation, you click this, right? And you should link out to an article talking about the um, key aspects of a successful directory site. So all of these make sense, right? All these internal links that you set up using this little tool right here, just by adding in your sitemap, not only are done in a way that makes sense, but they're all done automatically for you. So not only is this publishing, in this case, uh, two articles every single day, I could do 20, but automatically at the same time, it is writing the posts, right? One, it is writing them, then it is posting them, and then it is optimizing them, right? By internal linking between all of them. And the, the types of articles it is generating, if you go here to view all, uh, there are articles with table of contents, um, featured images, in article images, I can just go here, and, and view a few for you just to show you how they look like. And let's click this one, for example, the benefits of building a direct set on a creation economy. All this is a type of content that we're publishing right here with a table of contents, featured images, in article images, or in, in article, yeah, also in article images, as you can see here, uh, internal linking automatically done, like internal linking automatically done. And um, you don't even have to have like an automated blog like I showed, you can just generate the articles right here and then just post to WordPress manually if you want. But all these, as you can see, have automatically internal links in them, all these internal links, right? All these have internal links linking to other articles you've generated on the topic, right? So they all make sense. They're not just random internal links, right? All these have internal links that make sense, right? That's it, that's how you do it. Journalist or Cafe, log in, go to integrations and autoblog, then set up your autoblog and then just toggle on the setting for uh, internal linking, which is essentially adding your sitemap URL. And again, that's how you do it. That's how you can leverage all this generated content and have it internal link automatically to other of your blog posts. Uh, again, like so, going here and then just typing in here a sitemap. Pretty straightforward, let me know what you think. Uh, it's a pretty valuable, valuable feature here because it essentially automates a lot of the tedious pr process of SEO, which is looking for the right section of an article where you should and need to include an internal link. This automatically reads the article for you and places the internal link in the best place possible.
that's it i'll leave a link for this in the description if you want to try it out if not thank you so much and i'll catch you on the next one cheers